Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. result window is not appearing go to the tools not in automation you should go to tools yes Manisha wait will be only in the seconds okay go to run yeah and then okay view the result when session end apply it and click on okay okay now let's see how it runs okay it will be running so slowly You just observe, every time we have given the wait, it is going to wait for those many number of seconds. Okay, Prima, you are unable to see his screen. Um, just check if it is, you know, minimized at the bottom, Prima, Prima. Do you see, after entering the fly from, it is waiting for some time and then before clicking on the flights, again it is waiting. Before clicking an OK button, again it's going to wait. Do you see? No, no, it is not lagging Prima. We have put the delay over there. So only it is executing very slowly. Since we have put the wait, OK, wait means it is going to wait for a few seconds before it is going to proceed to the next step. That is why it is executing slowly. OK. So in case you want to observe the results, right? So we got to put the wait functionality wherever necessary along with a number. That number will show the number of seconds, okay? And it will introduce the delay, okay? Okay then, fine. Okay, now uh, go to your um, QTP, Dinesh. The screen is frozen, Prima. Um, Prima, do one thing, log out and log in, okay? Okay. So now, uh, Dinesh, can you please click on that uh, login OK button? Can you place your cursor over there? Login and OK button. Line number seven. Click on line number 7. Okay. So everybody just observe here in the bottom. Okay. There is an active screen. So the active screen is displaying or it is highlighting the OK button. Since he has placed his cursor on the line number 7 on the OK button, it is highlighting the OK button in the active screen. Okay. Now Dinesh, uh, click on the line number 5 wherein you can see the password. Okay, so if he clicks on the password, what can you see over here? The password is highlighted. So active screen is nothing but it is going to take the screenshot of your application that you are recording. Each and every step that you are recording, it is going to take the screenshot of it. Clear? And there are many other features, okay, which you can implement using the active screen which I'll be telling in future. Okay, so for now you can understand that active screen is used for 
taking the screenshot. So while you do the recording, it will automatically take all the screenshot. Okay. If anybody is unable to view this active screen, you got to go to view, file edit view. Dinesh, can you show? File edit view. And there it, you, you can see that active screen is there. Click on that active screen. It will start appearing. Okay. Do you see that active screen? Just click on view and then the active screen will be present. Select the active screen. It will start appearing in your QTP. Okay. Okay then. Okay, and regarding yesterday's assignment, okay, will you be able to show it, Dinesh, yesterday's assignment? Can you record and show the open order? Okay, so for open order, we will be taking a new file again and copy the first line of code. Okay, wait, wait. First, you know, copy the first line of code. Otherwise, you know, we have to write it again. Yes. And then go to a new file. Uh, Madhu, regarding data table, I'll be telling you in the future, okay? It is used for parameterization. So now he will show you how to record the open order functionality, how to test the open order functionality. It is again simple, okay. The first line, system util dot run, it's going to be the same. And then he will put the QTP into the record mode now. And when it is in the record mode, okay, he will open the application from the start. Okay, Lata, I do not understand your uh, symbol. What is this? I don't get it. Okay, Dinesh, you can click on stop. Okay. Copy the first line. Take a new file. Paste it here, then next line, go to next line, click on the record button, choose the windows application, windows application, okay no problem, you have started that's no problem, okay, go to the start, flight application, then where do you find your open order? First you got to log in as usual. Yes, log in. Do you see this is how you log in? Then, okay, go to the file. For the open order, you know, you got to go to the file. And there you will be able to find this open order functionality. Yes, click on open order. And then you have the order number, check the order number checkbox, enter any order number that you want. For example, you can enter 10, no, no, 55 is not there, I think, it is there, okay, no problem then. Then you click on close, close the flight reservation, then stop the recording, this much, okay. This is how you record the open order. Similarly, you know, you can open the application and then click on the update order, click on the delete order. It will get recorded. All right. This is about the yesterday's assignment. Some of you were asking me, right, regarding yesterday's assignment. This is how you got to execute. Okay. No, Prakurti, I did not do update and delete. It is simple. Okay. Just, uh, you know, make some changes in that... Um, flight reservation window after opening the order then click on the update button 
it will get recorded. If you want to delete it, click on the delete button, that will get recorded. Okay? Fine. Now, okay, so this much is clear everybody. So we discussed how to do the record and playback and then now we know what is your active screen. We know how to write the comments. We know how to Okay, Swarna, I will see it. Okay, what is the issue? I will come to it. Okay, let's, you know, first complete some, um, you know, explanation part and then I will start seeing your errors. Okay. All right. So now we know how to write the comments and also we know how to put the delay in the program. We can use the wait functionality in order to introduce the delay into the program. Okay. Now, next thing is, all these things that you can see, I mean, you know, the agent name, password, OK button, what are all these? These are called as the objects. Okay. And who is adding all these objects over here? Let's see. And where are these objects and the object property stored? So you can go to resources. Go to resources, Dinesh. And there you find the object repository. Yes. And in the object repository, you will be able to find all the objects along with the properties that are present in your script. Do you see there? Login is there. OK button is there. Agent name is there. Password is there. Flight reservation is there. If you expand this flight reservation, can you expand it, Dinesh? If you expand the flight reservation, you will be able to see all the objects that are present in this script. Object is nothing but your agent name, your password, OK button, your dialog box, then the flight reservation window. All of these are nothing but they are called as the objects. Any element of the application, it could be the web application, Windows application, okay. All the elements we call them as object. It could be the image, it could be the progress bar, it could be the menu tab, okay. Anything that you can see on the application, all of them we call them as the objects. So while we do the recording, QTP is going to automatically add all the objects along with the properties into this object repository. Can you see? On the left side, there is the list of object. On the right side, you can find the property of the objects. Do you see? Everybody? So we have the OK button. Currently, he has clicked on the open order. So on the right side, you can see the name is open order class to which it is belonging it is dialogue okay then the text that is attached it is the open order native class is given there okay the child window and it is own window so everything is given over here the properties basically can you click on agent name Dinesh okay so do you see here in the agent name the name of the property and then it belongs to the class that is win edit repository is local Native class is edit, okay. It is name of the class, okay. I'll come to that. What is the meaning of class and then what is attached text, I'll come to it, okay. Attached text, we have the agent name. So here, all the objects are along with their properties in the object repository, okay. And who is going to add them here? During the recording, they get added automatically into the object repository when you click on any of the object. Okay, fine. Now I will be uh, coming back to my screen wherein I will show you what are these objects. We will discuss a bit of theory now. Okay, I hope everybody can see my screen. Okay, so as I explained you what are these objects. Objects are nothing but these are the elements of the Windows applications or the web application. For example, agent name, this is an object, password is an object, OK button is an object, cancel is an object, help is an object, fly So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them 
on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770-777-1269 this is a United States number if you're calling from the UK call us at 020-337-17615 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.